A top story this evening, the UN Security Council has spoken with one voice condemning North Korea's fifth nuclear test. The members will discuss imposing new sanctions on the regime given the grave threat the North poses to the international community. Gonsoa starts us off. The UN Security Council announced it would immediately begin working on appropriate measures in the form of a new sanctions resolution. The members of the Security Council held urgent consultations to address the serious situation arising from the nuclear test conducted by the De Democratic People's Republic of Korea on 9 September 2016. The emergency meeting was requested by South Korea, the U.S. and Japan, all three of whom were on the same page in denouncing Pyongyang's ongoing provocations. For whatever reason, uh, if the DPRK uh, does not stop uh, this insane continuation uh, spree of uh, provocations, we, the countries in the region, uh, remains under direct threat. North Korea is seeking to perfect its nuclear weapons and their delivery vehicles so they can hold the region and the world hostage under threat of nuclear strike. It is certainly deplorable, unacceptable, that this is the second time they have conducted a nuclear test this year. Resolution 2270, imposed after the North's fourth nuclear test in January and dubbed the terminating resolution, was supposed to put an end to North Korea's violations. The resolution included mandatory cargo inspections and so-called sectoral bans restricting trade in coal, iron and titanium. It also put sanctions on the banking and financial sector and blacklisted individuals and entities. Even though the current sanctions regime against DPRK is, uh, is, uh, is pretty strong, uh, I think there is still room for uh, strengthening it further. And uh, if the existing sanctions don't work, I think we should, we should uh, you know, upgrade it. Uh, there is no other option. It remains to be seen, though, whether Russia and North Korea's closest ally, China, will cooperate in formulating even harsher sanctions. They showed some resistance in putting together Resolution 2270. I can't speak for the others, but if you talk about the fearful things, when many, many uh, uh, members talked about working for further measures, and I don't think there was any no, any uh, statement which opposes that idea. South Korea's ambassador to the UN says he hopes it won't take too long to settle on a new sanctions resolution. The last one took almost two months to be adopted. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.